What fucking intro should I do? Okay, what's up everybody, it's Hoover. So today, I'm gonna be doing something that nobody's ever done before again. Uh, we're gonna be looking at some strange addictions. Basically, if you don't know already, TLC has this show called My Strange Addiction, which basically showcases like weird people and their strange addictions. Now, My Strange Addiction isn't like normal addiction. It's like, oh, I like to play Candy Crush on my phone, like drinking wine, like, it's none of that shit. It's like the worst possible thing you can think of. And then that's what they're addicted to doing. So like, oh, I hate, I hate when people eat babies. Somebody's like, oh, I love eating babies, I eat babies every day. My strange addiction, I love eating babies. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and torture myself and watch these videos and to see how strange some of these addictions are. So I got this long list of them. And the first one already off the bat, great start. This woman can't stop drinking paint. This is gonna be great. I'm sure, I'm sure, I don't know off the bat how well this woman's living. Cause I'm pretty sure if you eat paint, you're going to die unless it's non-toxic. But it's like, why? Actually, that's a good question. What do you shit if you have, if you just eat paint? I don't wanna know. I don't wanna look that up. I'm not looking that up. It's just, it's just a thought, you know? What comes out of you if you just eat paint? I'm not going to go into that anymore. I'm just going to fucking watch it. Fuck it. This program depicts addictive behaviors that are dangerous and risky in nature. Viewers should not attempt. Guys, if you're thinking about drinking paint anytime soon, just, just click off the video. Why do you want to drink paint? There's so much more you can drink. Like, water. That's one. That's a good one. Chocolate milk. That's great. Chocolate milk's amazing. Normal milk. It's fine. Why paint? Because it's colorful? Don't do it. My name is Heather, I'm 43, mom of two beautiful children, and I'm addicted to drinking paint. As it's going down your throat, it feels very nice and warm, almost like a thicker version of warm milk. Except the difference between milk and paint, obviously, is one comes from a cow and is processed. One is processed in a factory with chemicals and is used for painting art. Just in case anyone didn't know the difference between the two. But obviously it's got that very strong chemical taste to it. Very strong chemical taste. It's got a very strong chemical. Why do you want a very strong chemical taste? Do you want to die? If I drink something and it tastes like fucking poison, I'm putting that shit down. Who wants, who looks for something that's chemically? Obviously there's alcohol. But that has its perks, you know, you get drunk off of it. But like, paint? What? I, I don't want to, no. When you get the marker, you need to shake it up, obviously. It's like your standard paint. You can already see that there is some white paint around the edge. So I'll put that into my mouth and suck the excess off. Take that off. Oh, what and are you doing? You and now you have what I drink. Jewels are gone, all right? Jewels, they're canceled. You know what's in 2018? We're drinking paint markers. Everyone's gonna start coming to school. Pass around paint markers, sophomores in the back, just chugging their paint markers. Cause you know, that, that's normal. Obviously it's not something that I can do in front of my children. Mm. My children have seen it on my teeth or on my mouth or smelled it on my breath, but no one, no one knows that I drink paint. No one knows that you drink paint. They've seen it on her teeth. They've seen it on her mouth. They've smelt it on her breath. No questions raised, probably because they're scared that their mom's drinking paint. Like if I just walked upstairs, I'm like, oh, hey mom, I see her with a paint marker and this is downing one, or she's got like paint all over her mouth. Like you're gonna notice, but I'm not gonna ask anything. Cause like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, that's weird. Cause I'm sure like Billy Bob walks upstairs. He's like, I smell some paint, mom. Are you painting upstairs? And you see an empty bottle of a paint marker. And then you look at her teeth and they're all white for no reason. How are you not gonna notice? Paint often contains more than half a dozen lethal chemicals, including xylene. I have no clue what xylene means, but the fact that it starts with an X and Y probably goes to show that it's fucking scary. Like, there's one good word that starts with X and Y, that's xylophone. That's it. Any chemical that starts with that, just don't touch it. When aspirated, xylene can cause immediate pulmonary bleeding, seizures, and even death. I told you, don't trust any chemicals that start with X, Y. And you think that's weird, she's stopping it, it's fine, you know? End of the episode, but of course, there's fucking weird ones. And I already see the next one, and it's addicted to bee stings. I don't want to click on the video. Can you please? Uh, do I have to? I have to. Of course, it's Kentucky. 
who else in the right mind would get stung by bees than a person in Kentucky? Amazing. My name is Margaret, and I'm 53 years old. I live in Morning View, Kentucky, and I'm addicted to stinging myself with bees. Nope. Nope. Fuck this. I'm not do- I don't have to do this! I'm not- what? Mm, I don't wanna- I don't wanna do this, man. I- oh my god. I have to skip- no! Ah! Paint! Seems like a huge step down from what the fuck this is. There's so many questions, and it's only a minute long. Where are you getting these bees from? Who's letting you get all these bees? Like, why- like, I- Oh my god. This is only 11 seconds in and I'm already squeamish like I don't want to do this Margaret. I don't want to be here. I sting myself on my hip, my elbow, on a finger, on my ankle, my forehead, on the tip of my nose. I really love stinging myself with bees. I'm surprised there's no rappers out there flexing about getting bee stings. Like just doing bee stings as like a drug. Cause that's like some of the hardest shit I've probably ever seen. It's from a little old woman in Kentucky called Margaret. Nobody in their right mind's like, oh yeah, let's just plop some bees in my arm, get some bee injections, you know, grab out in the farm, grab out some bees, let's do this shit. Like, no, no, Margaret. She's always had kind of a taste for looking at the odd side of things. At this point now, with 15 stings a day, that's when I'm starting to get really concerned about this. You know, 15, that's the cutting off point, you know? 14, uh, it's fine. You know, it's stealable. 13, it was no problem. But like 15, 16, gotta cut this shit off, you know? Maybe we should go th see a therapist. Maybe we should go see some Tai Chi teacher. Maybe 15's a cutting off point. Not one or two. Not only like you walk in, you see Margaret hitting up some bees. Like 15, we're done. We're not doing this anymore. I don't, I actually I don't even know if she stopped then. Maybe she got some therapy. Maybe she got some help. I don't know. Because it just ends after a minute. thing with these videos is you think, oh, that's weird. There's nothing that can top that. I'll assure you, anything on here can top what's to come next. And that is, a woman that's addicted to licking her cat. My name is Lisa. I'm 43 years old. I live in Detroit, Michigan. And I'm addicted to eating cat hair. Do I have to do this video? I have to think to myself, do I really need to record videos? Do I need to do this? Do I need to put myself through this torture of watching a 43 year old woman eat cat hair? No, I don't, but I feel like I have to because at this point I'm too far in the tunnel. I can't turn back. I can't just say, oh, we're done. We're just gonna watch these three videos and not make a video about it. But no, I have to keep going. 15 years ago, Lisa began eating cat hair as a way to feel closer to her pets. You know how you can feel closer to your pets? Just pet them. Give them a big ol' hug. Play with toys with them. You don't have to eat their hair. See, that's not a step of like human relationships. Like, oh, first start kissing, then you have sex, and then, oh, let's eat our hair. Let's eat your hair. Come on, bring it over. Give me some of them locks, you know? No one does that. Because you know why? If you did that, you'd be a fucking psychopath. So that cat probably thinks you're a psychopath. I kind of look at it and make sure it's relatively clean and just cat fur. I'll kind of break it apart and then just put it in my mouth. That's that's a catch point, you know. I'm not eating that dirty cat hair. I'm making sure that shit's clean, you know. Polish it up a little bit, put that in the washer and dryer, and then get it out, and then I eat it. Okay, I'm not some animal eating dirty cat hair. Disgusting. I'm making sure that's clean. Okay. Don't want to make sure people think I'm some weird animal eating cat hair. No, it's clean the cat hair. All right. I guess you could say maybe like a cotton ball taste. It's much less of a flavor than even human hair. That little little bit shows a lot. She just said has less flavor than human hair. So then that means she's tried human hair. I find the cat hair that I eat all over the apartment, on the floor or on the back of the couch or on the perch, but the best ones are right off the cat. Great for the picking, you know, right off the cat, go right for it, you know? I'm not looking for the ground pieces of fur. I'm going right for the picking, right? But eating cat hair isn't the only way Lisa feeds her addiction. I groom my cat with my tongue like a mama cat would do to her kitten. You know, there's always that thing where it's like, oh, crazy white people. This doesn't really shed a good light for us, you know? I clean my cat with my actual tongue. Doesn't really give a good image. Are you my good girl? She'll just like spread out on my arms. I'll just clean like her shoulders and her ears and the back of her head and stuff and her face. If I, if I saw anyone doing that, 
I'm taking their cat, you know? You don't deserve a cat. Yeah, maybe. It's okay. They were cleaning them off. But you know what you should do? Give them a bath. Like, as much as I hate it, think your tongue's gonna be clean? You think that's the good arching point? Is like, oh, let's clean them with my tongue now. No! I don't get as involved as another cat would. I'm not licking her butt. Or in between the paws that go in the litter box. But it's a bonding thing. And we both seem to enjoy it. We both seem to enjoy it. The cat just like fucking latches onto her. The cat's like, I'm done. I don't need to be clean anymore. Why do you just keep licking me? It's weird. Even the cat's weird. He tries biting her. That's when you know my your addiction's wrong. When the thing that you're doing is like, I don't want to do this anymore. The cat doesn't want to be evolved. He just wants to lay there. He just wants to be a cat. Not have some weird lady just licking on him on day, all day. Just leave the cat alone. Eat some cotton balls. Just leave the cats alone. Here's one that you won't get if you don't know what it is, but I'm sure they'll explain in the video. My addiction, coffee enemas. My name is Trina, and I live in St. Petersburg, Florida. That's perfect. And I'm addicted to coffee enemas. For the past two years, Trina hasn't been able to function without her daily coffee enemas, a procedure where liquid is injected into the colon to clean out the lower intestine. Basically what that means is she's shoving coffee up her ass, you know? Just normal. My initial reaction was, my God, that's disgusting. That's anyone's reaction, I feel like. Even people that do that, I think, feel like, oh, this is disgusting. Why am I doing this? I had to do this, I guess. But nobody's sitting there like, oh, I need some coffee up my ass right now. But I tried it, and now I'm addicted to coffee enemas. Oh no, this is a plot twist. I thought this guy was gonna be like, it's disgusting, I hate it. I hate, I don't know why she's doing it, I want her to stop. But then he's like, I did it, now I'm addicted. And it's like some kind of cult, it's like, now I'm in the circle, I'm in the pact. We're both doing them together, we got double tubes hooked up, like. From the first day I did them, I've pretty much been like, whatever's going on, I'm doing at least two of these a day, I don't care. Why any time of the day? I feel like there's a time and place for everything. I feel like if you're at work, and Bob walks in from accounting, he's like, what are you doing in here? He's like, I'm just doing some coffee enema. That's something that, no, don't do it. As they raise the bucket, 32 ounces of coffee fills their colon. You'll start to feel pressure growing in your lower intestine, and that's the freaky part. That's the freaky part. Not the freaky part that you're shoving actual coffee beans up up the anus, you know? Not that part. The fact that I think they have children? What if, what if little Susie has to go to the bathroom? Oh, one second, honey. Just pull that out and there's coffee everywhere on the ground and your little your little pillow is like stuck and coffee and then where's she gonna go to the bathroom? I feel like there should be a designated area for this where it's like oh little Susie little Bobby little Bobby Joe <laughs> little Bobby Joe they need to go to the bathroom they can but like if dad's in her hold on I'm doing something right now all right drink coffee how it's supposed to be drank and I'm pretty sure your poop will come out just as fine you know I'm sure it'll be fine when the timer goes off, yeah, you want to make just a quick transition from floor to toilet seat as quickly as possible. Got to make that quick transition. I'm pretty sure they probably have had that one spill where you didn't get up or she didn't get up and it's like, bang, it's all on the ground. Then what are you supposed to do? Clean it up and tell your kids, oh, daddy had a little accident. Mommy had a little accident. My bad. Sorry that there's poop water all over the ground, you know, my bad. I do think it is just really kind of gross. Gross. I think it's gross. Mike's mom thinks it's gross. I'm sure anyone's mom will think that's gross. After watching somebody shove copy beans up a tube and then their rectum, then I feel like I don't need to watch any more of this. After all that cleansing, I feel like we'll have to wrap up the video here. If you love eating cat hair, don't subscribe. I mean, it's, yeah, sure, subscribe. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like on the video. I want to go upstairs, look my cat a little bit, get some fur off, you know, none of that, none of that dirty stuff on the ground, you know? Right for the picking, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace. Daydream, I fell asleep amid the flowers for a couple of hours on a beautiful day.